After a failure while being towed to port, the Soviet Union's only completed Lund-class Akronoplan was left stranded in shallow waters on the Caspian Sea. The Akronoplan was a unique Soviet plane-boat hybrid that could fly over a cushion of air only feet above the water's surface. The secretive aircraft was now left out in the open. The photo seen here was taken in July of 2020 by photographer and urban explorer Lana Sator, who snuck inside the vessel and captured a number of astounding images. Over the last decade, a trend known as urbex has grown popular worldwide, especially in Russia. Urbex, or urban exploring, consists of infiltrating private property, such as abandoned labs, nuclear reactors, deserted bunkers, or bomb shelters, exploring the location, and taking pictures or videos. Although urbex is considered illegal in Russia, it's perhaps the country with the most places to explore. Scattered all over the nation, urban explorers can find thousands of reminders of a now bygone Soviet era. 31-year-old Lana Sator is one such urban explorer, drone operator, and photographer. For her, Urbex is a never-ending source for her social media material, where she shares great sneak peeks into all kinds of dilapidated areas. As she describes it, quote, bomb shelters and bunkers, unfinished nuclear power stations, and the underground state reserve greenery. Almost all of the abandoned places are beautiful and attractive. Apart from asylums and shelters, I love abandoned science labs, dead machinery, and factories. Although she's been photographing urban areas for a few years, her work capturing the abandoned Akronoplan went viral in the summer of 2020. The Lund class Akronoplan was built in 1987 by the Soviet Union and codenamed Utka class. The Akronoplan was neither a plane nor a boat. It floated on the cushion of air generated by the air pressure built between the wing and the ground. This is better known as wing and ground effect, or WIG. According to the CIA, quote, The Utka-class WIG is a tactical strike and coastal defense vehicle for the Soviet Navy. It carries six supersonic SSN-22 anti-ship cruise missiles. The Utka can engage enemy ships out to its radar horizon, but can fire the SSN-22 out to the missile's 100-kilometer range with over-the-horizon targeting data. The Utka is larger than a U.S. Boeing 747 jet airplane and flies at about 250 knots. One Utka has been built. Its capacity to fly at high speed and extremely low altitudes allowed the wing to go unnoticed by nuclear missile strikes. The low altitude also eliminates wingtip vortices, decreasing drag. The Lone Class Akronoplan was the only WIG aircraft to be weaponized and had a crew of 15. After the Soviet Union's downfall in 1991, the Lone Class spent decades on a dock near Dagestan's capital, Makhachkala. In the summer of 2020, the Akronoplan craft was scheduled to be towed from a naval base to a museum nearby, but plans went awry. It's still unclear what happened, but some social media posts speculate that the museum where the Akronoplan was to be relocated to didn't even exist. Since then, the Akronoplan has lain in shallow water in the Caspian Sea, in what looks like a dystopian film scene. Visitors from around the Dagestan area and Russia have started to gather to stare at the magnificent aircraft. When Lana Sato read about the giant Akronoplan lolling in the water, she booked a flight and traveled to Dagestan with a friend. Just after midnight on August 7th, the security guard had fallen asleep to the sound of the generator, and the two Urbex friends were able to enter the vessel. Silently, they headed towards the craft's rear and began taking pictures. After almost an hour of photographing the Akronoplan, Lana and her companion made their way to the front to photograph the Lund class cockpit and other interiors. According to Sater, after exiting the wig, quote, we have to wait for the morning lights, take pictures outside, and the mission can be considered accomplished. Cars with people who want to see the Akronoplan start arriving even before sunrise. Lana posted the pictures on her Instagram on August 8th and has received over 30,000 likes. The Lund-class Akronoplan is still stranded off the Caspian Ocean coast. 
It remained swayed by the waves as a reminder of the Soviet Union's military force. There are no public plans that detail how they will move the wig to the museum, and the plane is now starting to show signs of decay from being stranded in the water. As H.L. Sutton writes, quote, It will be a tragedy for military history if this unique craft is broken into pieces by the powers of nature. <laughs>